Hi, I'm Bubby and welcome to Bubby Pins. I think that this might be the most important Bubby Pin that I've ever done so far and also the most controversial. I want to talk about dating. What teenagers are watching today and where the world has progressed it today is our girls are getting screwed, <clears throat> literally. Here's what I mean. It used to be in dating that when a guy asked a girl out, he would say, do you want to go out? And she would say, oh, I would love to. And he said, I'll pick you up at seven. We'll go to a movie. We'll go out to eat. Now a guy says, you want to go out? And she's like, he's like, you want to go out with me? And she says, yes, but it doesn't mean they're going anywhere. All it means is that he has free permission to have her body as he wishes until he's done with her and then he breaks up with her or she breaks up with him and on to the next. So by the time a kid graduates high school, which is where they're promoting this philosophy, the girl is so used up. Let me give you an example. An example that I, I used to teach to teenagers is that I would bring in this chocolate turkey at, at um, Thanksgiving time. Oh, it was like this big with the gold wrapper and everything. You take off the gold wrapper and it's all chocolate, milk chocolate. So I would have an assembly full of teenagers and I would say, this is free. Who wants a chocolate turkey? If you want a chocolate turkey, Go to that side of the auditorium, line up. Well, almost everybody's out of their chair and lined up for this chocolate turkey. And then I would say, well, they're just now that you're in line, you can switch lines. And I would hold up this little chocolate kiss, a Hershey's kiss with a little silver wrapping. Anybody want a Hershey's kiss instead? You can come over here for a Hershey's kiss or for this chocolate turkey. Well, who at this point, they're teenagers. They're going for the big glamorous gold wrapped chocolate turkey no one's switching maybe one person just because he likes to show that he's different and defiant goes to that side okay so now we have everybody all lined up it's only boys and in tour an auditorium filled with boys no girls and then i would bring the girls in at the end so that the boys would be free to like make choices. Okay, so now here's the boys and they're over here and here's the girls and they're, and I, I start to roll down and I, I roll down the wrapper from the top. I say to the boys, take a bite. And the first one looks and he takes the biggest bite of all. Okay, took a big bite. Okay, you can have another bite, but go to the end of the line, you'll get it later. I say to the next boy, take a bite. He's like, same turkey? I'm like, oh yeah, same turkey. And that, so now they're like taking a bite, get to the end of the line, taking a bite, unwrap, take a bite. Somebody smart, he lifts up the bottom, takes some of his own giant bite there. I said, by the way, at any point as the, as the turkey's now going like this and like this, at any point you can leave this line and come over here for your own personal Hershey's kiss that still is wrapped and has the wrapper. We're not sharing that. Everybody gets their own personal one. So slowly but surely, people start pouring over. By the time this turkey has most of the wrapper disheveled and it's spit on and bit from every angle you can imagine, most of the kids either sat down or moved over for their own Hershey's kiss. So then I bring the girls in. And I let them know what happened with this experiment. And I let them know that this turkey is them. And this turkey is them when they're ready to get married. But nobody wants anymore the turkey that's been bit and chewed and everybody slobbered all over this turkey. Nobody wanted that one anymore. It was only really attractive when you thought you were getting the whole thing right up front. But they abandoned it really fast when they thought they had to share it. It's like... No one wants a shared chocolate turkey with everybody's slobber. Everybody went for the little silver, beautiful Hershey's kiss that had the wrapping still on. Keep your wrapping on. Stay a Hershey's kiss. So when it's time to get married, you're not a turkey. It's been slobbered all over. You still have your wrapping and you're still just as shiny for your husband. Now, here's the thing. When a girl starts dating, the first thing she's doing is she's I'm talking in generals, is she's taking his last name and throwing out her last name and putting them together and seeing what it looks like. And she's imagining what their kids would have <laughs> and, and he's like, how far can I get? These are two different goals. 
when you have two different goals, someone's going to get hurt. Now, sometimes it turns around and she doesn't like him and she dumps him and he winds up getting hurt, but mostly it's her. Mostly it's her. And by the time she's ready to get married, she can't find anybody. And it's not necessarily because she looks like a chocolate turkey. She probably looks just as beautiful, but it's because she's carried so much baggage from every bite, from every slobber, so that when she goes to the next guy, she's bringing all this pain with her and a little bit of doubt and less hope and less idealism and more, how are you gonna hurt me? I know it's coming soon. More defenses, more walls, more hostilities. And yet, still acting like a turkey. So patterns built in childhood are very hard to break in adulthood. And when you're a teenager, that is childhood. You're still a child. You may be a teenage child, but you're still a child. You're a child until you turn 21. And then you become an adult. As I would say 18 because that's when they go in the army. Okay, fine. You're a child till you turn 18. But Netflix, the movies, they're not saying, oh, when you're 18, you get married and you get together. And they're saying everybody in high school is doing it. I say, time for revolution. Everybody in high school, have fun together, but not like turkeys. Don't even have to kiss. You just have to learn how to get along, because I'm going to tell you a secret. The secret of marriage is not, oh, where's the passion? The secret of marriage is, can you get along? That's the secret. Do you know how to laugh with each other, bowl with each other, have a good, I was going to make a joke there, but I decided not to. See, that's maturity for me. <laughs> if you know how to get along with your husband outside of the bedroom, you're going to have a really beautiful marriage. And you can practice that. People will say, well, dating's good for practice. And so, so practice that. Practice getting along with each other. But save yourself for marriage, girls, because they're looking for the kiss at the end. They're not looking for the turkey. And that's your controversial bubby pin for today. Share it with your friends. Share it with your daughter. <laughs> Put your comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next bubby pin real soon.